at the immigration court, they have created a day at the court each month. There's actually five days each month, but we cover one of those days where I bring law students, volunteer lawyers, volunteer interpreters, and we are there at the court when the children appear. These are children who've been traveling alone. They were caught at the airport or caught at the border or caught at being truant. Usually it's at the airport or the border. Their median age is 12 to 14, and they are trying to find a better life. Some of them, their parents sent them. Some of them, they're running away from home. Some are looking for a relative here in the United States who maybe came 10, 12 years ago, but that person has no way of sponsoring them. And this is hard to believe in America. Children have no right to free lawyers in deportation proceedings. So I was observing court and I saw a little boy named Miguel. He was seven years old. He'd been in the country three months. He was alone. The interpreter was being as nice as she could be to him. He is shaking in the court chair. He's gripping the arms of the chair. The judge is being as nice as she could be. The prosecutor is actually being very nice. And they're trying to figure out, how did Miguel get to court that day? Turned out his father was downstairs, but was afraid to come into the building. And Miguel actually has a right to stay in the United States because Congress has a provision in the law that allows children to get status. But to get that status, they need a lawyer to navigate the court system. We have to go to family court. We have to go to immigration court. So that day when I finished the report for the federal government, I went back to the New York Immigration Court and I said, New York Law School and Safe Passage Project will partner with the court. And that's what we do. We now represent, we assist in the representation of more than 250 children. We've got 70 law students involved at any one time. They can get involved as first year students, evening division students and we have 140 lawyers doing free legal representation.